Now we have a situation where a ball rolls down an incline, a very familiar situation since we've done it in class and since class we've done it in lab. So by the time you see this, uh, you will have encountered this uh, in, in a very uh, tangible way. Um, how do you analyze this? Okay. Now, do we use this coordinate system where y is vertically upward and x is horizontal or tilted coordinate system? Okay, there are reasons why you do this. The main the reason here is for projectile you use this, not this. Why is that? Because the acceleration is all in the y direction. So you have um, a non-zero acceleration in the y direction, but for an ideal projectile you have zero acceleration in the x direction. If you didn't have that, your equations and your algebra and everything would be a lot more complicated. And as it turns out, in this situation, uh, they're complicated enough already because you don't know the initial speed. Okay? <clears throat> now, in this case, what you're given is that the ball goes 25 centimeters as it falls a meter after rolling off this ramp at a given angle. Now, you weren't really given the angle, you were given the slope, but from the slope you can easily find the angle. So I'm assuming you find the angle. Then you start out by saying, well, my initial x velocity is v cosine theta. Now you don't really need to find the angle. You can find the arc tangent of point, uh, the cosine of the arc tangent of point 12 using simple pre-calculus techniques. You don't have to find the angle and then find the cosine of it. Um, The cosine of the arc tangent of 12, I estimated was around 0.994. I knew it was below 0.995. Uh, somebody said it might have been, been 0.993 something. If it was, it was probably close to 9935. Because it's if it's below 9.94, it's not a whole lot below 0 .9, uh, 0 0.994. It's not a whole lot below. Anyhow, you can work that out. Uh, and the sign is very close to the slope, again, if you understand the trigonometry uh, 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 involved with small angles, you'll understand that the tangent and the sine are very nearly the same when you have a small angle, and that's because the cosine is very close to 1, as we see here. Okay? Um, and you might want to think through that. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's very handy to know that. So, what do we know? We know the x acceleration is 0, so we can write down the equation of motion for the x, which is just what? v naught y times t plus 1 half a t squared, which is 0, plus your x naught. Now, if you put the origin here, then x starts at the origin, and so does y, so that your x naught and y naught are going to be 0. Okay? And in your y direction, here's your acceleration. You can write down your y function. And then, um, as it turns out, you can solve this equation for t, but you don't know the actual v naught y or the actual v naught x, which is what you'd need here. You don't know that. You have just a v cosine theta. Okay? So your solution for the time of fall, you know, the time it takes to go 25 centimeters in the horizontal direction, is going to involve both v and cosine theta. Similarly, your y equation is going to involve both v and sine theta. Okay? You know how far you fall. You know your displacement. One meter down. Okay? You know your acceleration. You have an expression for your initial velocity. Uh, and you know your display. Well, you know your displacement. I already said that. Okay? So, you know enough to express everything here in terms of v and sine theta. So you can express the time here in terms of v and sine theta. And you can put those two expressions for time together to eliminate either v or theta. And then you can plug that back in to either expression for the time. You get your time and you can figure everything else out, including your angle. Okay? <coughs> I'm sorry. Would not include your angle. Okay, so, and I kind of said it wrong again, time is going to involve V here, time is going to involve V here. Um, you're going to reduce your simultaneous equations 
in a way, just a little different than what I actually just said, but you should get the idea. Um, and down here I say, okay, here's your AX, B naught XT plus X naught times I, X naught's going to be zero. A little hard to read maybe. VY is going to be V naught TY uh, plus Y naught times J N. I don't know what I was thinking because it's going to be acceleration times T plus V naught. And I'm going to have to correct that. Obviously something I did near the end of class, so hopefully nobody put it in their notes. Um, okay, so let's get the right color chalk here. hard to read but that's a y and this should be v naught y okay fill in the blanks here solve <coughs> for your unknowns and uh, you'll be able to determine your initial speed okay and that's kind of what we're after uh, and that's very important for the lab that we did